G'day and welcome to my motorboat. Today I thought uh, I'll head for a ride down to the coast. I'm on the uh, Palmerston Highway heading down to Innisfail. Uh, I'll probably stop there at the rest area and have some smoko. Uh, interesting to note that the Palmerston Highway is uh, the main B double route from the coast to the tablelands. Uh, if you don't know what a B double is, it's basically a uh, a truck with a trailer. Um, so yeah, so I was, because it's the um, B double route, this road can get rough. Uh, there's a fair bit of damage that the, the trucks do. Uh, but the shires are pretty well on to it and I try to keep it patched up. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment, but I have travelled on it when it's been really bad. Um, but anyway, look, we'll, um, might stop it and have a few, look a few sights down the way, on the way there. And, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. that I've mounted my GoPro here in front of me. Hello! I did that this morning so that I could uh, have a different perspective in, uh, in the uh, vlogs. Um, so, yeah, just trying it out. Right now I'm just going to head down to the Craw Crawford's Lookout and have a look out across to the North Johnson River. So I'll show you that. Coming up to Crawford's Lookout now on the left. So I'll, I'll pull up here and these people look like they won't be there very long. I'll wait till they're gone and uh, then I'll wander over and have a close look. Ah, so what do you think about that for a view? Pretty good. It's pretty amazing though, Mother Nature. Um, back in 2006, we had tropical cyclone Larry actually come straight up through this valley and it defoliated pretty well the whole valley. It was, there wasn't a leaf on it when it came through here. Uh, well, you know, that was. Uh, 15 years ago now um, and uh, look at it back to where it was pretty awesome stuff mother nature see that sickle see that bag on the seat I'll uh, show you what all that's all that about when we uh, get down to the rest stop so might as well keep going into the rest area now.
I've stopped at the um, rest stop for uh, smoking. This one's for you, Mario. So I've got my jet boil here going. So heating up some water. And what have got? Sandwich that I made. The smoker. It's a um, chicken schnitzel, cheese, lettuce with a, um, a Greek yogurt sauce. I'm using the um, chicken schnitzel because I uh, made chicken parmy the other night. I'm just boiling the water so that I can uh, get me coffee. So I've got myself a bunch of coffee. Reasonably strong. So I just water the boil. Meantime, I'm going to get my milk. You can see it heats it up pretty well, that you like how it's coming up. So it'll be nearly boiling. Oh, there we go, we're on the boil. Just off. And all of that water into my plunger. Because I'm not pretty prepared. Mail. First one, uh, I'll show you some stickers somewhere up here. I received from um, Shauna Sparkles Clark, she's in Tasmania across the Tasman Strait. I really appreciate it. If you're watching, thanks, Shauna. The one I do want to talk about is I received some stickers from. Uh, Brenda G Designs. Now these stickers, they did a lot of travelling. Uh, for starters, they started off in uh, Indianapolis, uh, USA. Uh, it took a while to get, well they didn't quite get here, but I think they got here. But um, after a while, Brenda G got them back saying not, a, not known at this address so she contacted me I, uh, I sent her my postal address and uh, after a little while they finally arrived in the post and here they are just up here um, so they're pretty cool thanks uh, Brenda um, but I know why they took so long the pigeon that was carrying and was pretty well um, well and truly tired by then. I was doing you know, going one and a half times around the world. And uh, worst of all when he got to Queensland, poor little bugger had to put a mask on before he could come in. And then there was a 14 day uh, quarantine period. So there you go. But it got here. Um, 
Yep, thanks again, Brenda. Awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the ins and outs of that bag. Um, I'll do that when I get home. I'll, uh, I'll put a video together and attach it to this. And, um, so I'll show you. That's my little esky, 12 volt esky. See how I carried the milk, the water, etc. When I'm travelling. So I'll go through it when I get home. This video might be a bit long, so um, what I'll do with uh, my bike rescue video, I'll do a separate one for that. Uh, for those that stuck it through to the end, hey, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, look, take care, keep well, and for now, cheers.